Hey guys, and welcome back to my TF2 movie making tutorial. And uh, yes, I'm back after a couple of weeks hiatus from this series, and I am back with part seven of this series. And um, yeah, it's gonna be all about Adobe After Effects and a four. Uh, forward before this tutorial starts it's quite impossible for me to go through anything of major importance in After Effects in one tutorial um, Sony Vegas was a bit more easier to go through but After Effects is something that you just have to keep on experimenting with you have to keep on persisting with it and you know it is right now in what I, what I know the most powerful uh, video editing program it's not well there's a lot of debate as to you know what Adobe After Effects is mainly for like Sony Vegas is very aimed towards um, video editing and like making that an easy process while Adobe After Effects um, really you know broadens the, the scope of the possibilities you could do of making special effects, um, you know, working with 3D, making videos, editing, and all that. So um, it's just a big task for me to explain um, anything through Adobe After Effects because I probably only, only know 1% of, uh, you know, the vast amount of knowledge that you could possibly know about in Adobe After Effects. But I will try my best. Um, to kind of explain um, how to make some basic clips um, I will just be going through um, how to make uh, my C4C intro for GTV um, this is what it was um, yes it's very basic 30 second clip with green screens simple images and uh, you know, just the basics of Adobe After Effects can achieve this you know I, I, I worked pretty hard maybe you know full day to make all this recording and all that so um, yeah it's just I'll be going through how to make that and hopefully throughout it I can explain just the very basics of Adobe After Effects and um, yeah I have to say everything that I've learned about Adobe After Effects is from Dun 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 Video Copilot by Andrew Kramer and I might just like to spend a little bit of time about this website and all the um, Hoo ha! <laughs> I love using that word. Um, all the hoo ha about using his tutorials in movies because I'm sure so many of you guys have seen comments saying, Oh, he used Video Copilot for this, he used Video Copilot for that, blah blah blah, you suck. So, Video Copilot, I personally love this website. Andrew Kramer, right here, is a fantastic person to explain um, everything about Adobe After Effects. Um, he's got hundreds of tutorials I think it was hundreds and um, yes it's, uh, 118 um, tutorials not to mention he's also got a After Effects 10 part After Effects training program which teaches you the basics and I have to say you know go through all this because you know I'm only going to be skimming on the surface of some of the things I do so Maybe if you go through this, I mean, you can watch my tutorial, see how I kind of work through things, then watch through all this, and you'll kind of understand more of the basics behind um, After Effects, and then maybe you want to go back and watch what I do, um, so you might understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing this and that. So After Effects basic training, fantastic. That's where I learned how to use After Effects. And then he's got all of his tutorials, um, 118 to go through. I haven't gone through all of them, but um, yeah, a lot 
a lot of great effects and yes you will recognize a lot of these intros because a lot of frag movies use these intros um, as their own introduction um, even I'm guilty for using his earth zoom uh, tutorial for one of my movies um, but my excuse behind that is that I had to throw this movie up in one day um, and I was quite in a rush to do anything so I kind of followed through that but um, it is frowned upon to use his introductions straight off like to copy exactly his tutorials and, and throw it into your movies I mean he keeps on encouraging you guys not to do that but instead understand the principles behind what he taught you in uh, you know each one of these t uh, tutorials and then apply that to your own um, you know ideas and material so that you might get you know a kind of a, a kind of a combination of possibly you know a, a few ideas from different tutorials and then you can make your introduction using various effects from you know all the different tutorials that he teaches you instead of just uh, you know copying directly what he does so, um, for example um, my project drawn was based off the um, principles he taught behind the graffiti writing tutorial in which he uses you know stroke uh, pen tool strokes to reveal the pathway and you know instead of using I've seen some people use this as an intro and uh, yeah instead of using it as an intro I used it throughout my entire movie as a theme so um, try your best not to copy it out straight forth I mean it's alright to copy it while you're you know going through the tutorial I mean that's what I do but after that you know if you want to publish something of your own please try to make you know your own uh, effects from there so um, that's video copilot dot net um, fantastic uh, tutorial Andrew Kramer funny fantastic uh, I'd say teacher of uh, Adobe After Effects and various other um, cinema 4D uh, Max, uh, you know, 3D studios and all that. So, um, yeah, check it out. It's fantastic. And if you're really serious about using uh, Adobe After Effects, you should probably check out his website. So, back to my introduction. Um, the best way that I can kind of explain, I'm not gonna be creating this again from scratch, like. Uh, video copilot would um, I will just be kind of explaining each part of the tutorial and I'll, I'll tell you how it's done but um, you know I have to pretty much uh, just go through each layer and explain you know, what's going on so um, the easiest kind of way that I can uh, describe Adobe After Effects is um, a hybrid of you know, Adobe Photoshop so you've got a bunch of layers and with those layers you can chuck things onto each other but it's got the added bonus of being you know using videos and so it's like Sony Vegas in that that point of view so um, if you are apt with you know Sony Vegas and uh, Adobe Photoshop you should be able to get your head around Adobe After Effects you know pretty pretty easily so um, really how, how it starts off is uh, with um, Adobe After Effects is that you go to composition you go to new composition you name your composition C4C you got the width 1280 by 720 you can set it to whatever you want um, square pixels like in uh, Sony Vegas uh, frame rate for your project um, 30 or 60 this was a simple project so I said at 30 resolution full and uh, however much time this is set at 30 seconds um, so you start that and it comes up with a new composition and that's it's all good to use and um, so what it all is about is I'll just go through the pretty much the window uh, your workspace pretty much uh, which you can control through window workspace and, and all that palaver but you got your 
I think this is semi default, but I kind of shifted stuff around. You got your uh, window here, which has all your uh, materials that you'll be using. So all the media that you import, um, you simply you can simply just drag it in um, from from your folder. You drag it right into there. Um, so like this image, you can just drag it in there. It comes out. Or you could just go uh, import file and all that. Um, uh, you can import. Um, I'll probably go through it later, but you can import um, image sequences. So like how we have the TGA image sequences when we record TF2, you can import those images in a row, you know, as a sequence into Adobe After Effects and work with that. Um, that's probably best to be used with uh, 3D programs and all that and unwise to use TF2 footage from TGA straight into After Effects. It's best to use the Lagerith encoded uh, AVIs. So you got that where all your media is imported into. Uh, you can possibly have an effects control. So if you go to a specific layer and uh, all the effects that you apply to it, that so in Sony Vegas it's that little green um, T or plus thing. In this case, you got your own tab for that. Um, you got down here your timeline with all your layers and each tab for um, each one of your compositions. And I'll try to explain compositions a bit later. You got your animation uh, or your preview window here so you can just go through and see what happens um, you can see you can change the resolution to make it you know, go a bit faster and all that and you got your effects panel down here and a couple of other um, things that shouldn't I, I don't like them all being separate so I'm combining them all into one um, one window and uh, yeah you can do that and this is where all your effects are that you could just go through or you could just search so um, you have all that set up here's your time control as well and here's all your tools um, very much like Photoshop so um, you start off 